hope everybody had a good new year we actually got some new panels i never really wanted these panels but i kind of need them because i had a drop axle right here and it left a bunch of holes over here but these were 70 percent off they were 51 bucks i never wanted them because they were always like 170 bucks and i was just going to cut out some new panels paint them and be done with it but i said hey why not so we're just going to throw those on real quick and that's it hopefully this week is going to be busy it's probably the cleanest has been in like months but it's always nice to have a clean truck for the first load of the year and of course we're going to get all the aluminum polished up this month definitely going to miss acid washing everything because it just makes everything so easy to wash off but yeah hopefully maybe a couple of weeks i'm gonna call over the polisher guy i was thinking of tempting it myself but we'll see and of course side panels are on and it's looking better and better i also Everything. finally changing the led lights in here and got these off amazon seem to be bright i chose white and all you do is just spin it out well like i had these gauges that you could actually change the led and of course i'm using needle nose pliers it's a lot easier to put it back in we just unscrew it spin it back inside and that's it just like that and if it doesn't work you have to take it out flip it because it's led Alright guys, we are backed in and this is our first load of the year. Still good rate guys, getting 550 for this over here from Seattle to Sumner Puyallup area. But yeah, can't wait to get all the aluminum polished out. I actually did a little bit of hand polish on this wheel. It actually turned out not too bad. For the steps, I am going to be ordering the stainless steel covers. This is a 34 inch step. I did shorten it down. This used to be a 40 inch step. Used to go all the way back, but to run this straight pipe, you gotta shorten it down. So it looks a little funky, but you won't tell once the new cover is on. Nice to be empty after hauling a 50k cargo. Those suckers are heavy. Some kind of machinery stuff.
Brooke has never done when you park. I <laughs> changed that one a month ago. And the second one decides to leak as well. So guys, uh, don't be like me if you're gonna change at least the piggybacks or the full brake chamber. Just do two at the same time. Or otherwise you're gonna be like me, changing the next one a month later. But these things are only 47 bucks. A lot better than a dealer as well. If you're over here in five, I get these over at commercial clutch and brake on Pacific Highway. It should be good enough. Super easy. If you're just changing the biggie back, you just cage, put the cage bolt in, turn it, you know, about 90 degrees, tighten it up as much as you can. Then you basically just remove the air lines, remove the clamp. That's the closest to the mounting bolt, so over here. This one cannot be removed because this is a newer style. But if you have an older style brake chamber, this clamp, removing this clamp will basically could kill you. It has a really My strong... trusty Makita. And that's it. Also, inspect the spring. If this spring is still good right here, you could just do a piggyback. This, everything looks pretty good. This actually looks like a fresher brake chamber. Might have been replaced not too long ago. So, piggyback works. Well, that was probably no more than 10 minutes to change a piggyback. Also, I pushed in the brakes. That way, it's actually, you don't have to unscrew out this nut all the way out. Otherwise, you'll be here all day trying to take this cage bolt out. There you go. That's it. Guys, don't be scared to change your own brake chambers. This was actually uh, one of the first things I was scared to do. It took me like a couple years to get used to it. But yeah, guys, there you go.